Hello again everyone, I am back with another embroidery video for you and you're definitely gonna like today's session because I'm gonna teach you how to do a unicorn. Yay! I know, right? So let's get started by telling you what you need. To start off, we are gonna be doing the outline of our unicorn using a running stitch, which is one of the most basic stitches in embroidery. And as always, bring your needle up through your work and leave a little space and bring it down just like that. That's your first stitch. Before you start the second stitch, you're going to leave an equal space and bring your needle up again. From, we'll try to leave a very little space between two stitches so that our work will be much better looking. Now take the same distance and bring your needle down again. Just like that. We're going to continue this now same space bring it up just like that okay now we'll continue this throughout the whole of outline of the unicorn Now that we've completed most of the outline of the horse, uh, you can see that I've left uh, a bit of the horse's back because that's where I'm going to be doing the mane of the horse using colorful thread. So now that the outline's done, we are going to be moving on to the facial features. For the unicorn's nose, I'll be using a French knot. And since I'm using all six strands of the thread, I will only wrap my thread around my needle twice. One, two. I'm gonna hold this. And that's the nose of the unicorn. For the unicorn's mouth, we're gonna be using the stem stitch. For the unicorn's eye, we're also going to be using a stem stitch, just like for the mouth. So we're just going to turn it like that for our convenience. Continue. So now I'm going to move on to the horn of the unicorn which I will be filling using a satin stitch which is also very easy. Now we'll be filling um, our horn using in an angular manner and you can use these lines as a guideline but these will be later filling with um, a darker color like black. And I'm using a thinner needle um, with three strands of thread so let's begin. A satin stitch is very simple. All you do is bring it up and down. Now remember to keep the angular manner. Always embroider in the angle. 
so that it looks consistent Okay, so now we are going to be filling the hair on top of the unicorn. We have two layers and we are going to be using the satin stitch as well for this as well. And I, if you look close, I can you can see that I have segmented both the upper and lower layers with lines and this is for your convenience so that you can make sure that all your stitches are straight uh, right throughout the hair. So let's start. You can actually use any colorful thread for this. I'll be using light blue. So once again, fill it with the satin stitch. So now we've reached the last part of our embroidery which is the mane of the unicorn and for this I'll be using four colorful threads as you can see. I'm going to be starting off with the green color. Now this uh, mane we will be filling using a totally different stitch and that I will show you right now. But before I start let, let me tell you something, just unlike all other stitches for this stitch, we do not tie a knot at the end of the thread and there is reason for that and I will show you why. So you keep your thread. I have drawn a guideline so I know the length of my, of the mane's hair and I'm going to pull it down from here. Okay. You don't pull it entirely down. You don't pull the whole thing down okay you're going to leave it like that right and then you're going to pull your needle up from about here and you're going to secure the your first stitch hold it pull it and So our, this is our first stitch, this you will be using as a guide um, as you fill the rest of the main and when you're doing, when you're moving on to your second hair strand of the main, you pull your needle up from about the center of that securing stitch, pull it all the way up. Now this time you're going to create a loop kind of shape like this you're going to hold it there you're gonna take the length required about this much then you're going to put it just like that okay now And just like the earlier one, you're going to secure this as well.
Now that I've finished cutting, I'm going to use a blunt needle and separate each of these, each, each thread into its six strands so that we can increase the amount of hair in the mane of the unicorn. So we separate it like that. And just keep it aside and do this for every piece of thread. Now that we've cut the excess pieces of thread of the mane, it's equal. We have officially completed our mane. And to add the cherry on the cake, you can even fill the area empty space around the unicorn with French nuts just like this. So we've completed it now. It's the end of another cute project and it's very colorful. Um, so that is it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.